Hello and welcome back. So here what we need is to limit access from other students from seeing another student's information. So if they just type in the URL of their profile, they should have access denied. So here, let's limit this. And to do that is very simple. As we've already seen, all we have to do is change the access levels. So I'm going to go to, let me close all these files here. This is the profile page. So I'm going to go to the profile here and we just need to put an if statement on the profile view here. So let me uh, do this. And we can easily copy this from, let's say the users table, copy that, the users uh, controller rather. And let's put an else statement as well here. Let's come down here. Else statement, access denied. So here, the, that's the thing here. So the people that are supposed to see this is the reception. The reception can see the user's information because they're the ones that add users. But at the same time, if I put reception, it means I will not be able to see my own profile. So if for example here I come to profile here, it will tell me access denied. If I go back to the other user's profile, access denied. Now I still need access to my own profile, obviously. So I will put another oath here. And instead of the and actually, I should put the or double pipe for all. So either you are a reception level access or you own the content. So we'll say I own content like this. Okay. So if you own the content, so which content are we talking about? It's the row, which is right here. So I'll copy that and let's put this in there like this. So if I own the content, I can see it. Here, I will not be able to see this user's uh, profile, as you have seen. But if I go to my own profile, I have access, which is very nice. Okay, so now we've limited the access of other. Yeah, there we go. So other students can't eavesdrop on other students' information. And then the other thing is... Um, the reception can see basic information, but the classes should only be seen by other lecturers and tests. The reception should not be able to see these things because that's sensitive information except for the basic info. So all we need to do is limit what we see here and there, and that's it. Access denied, access denied. So let's put that real quick and then we can call it a day. So what I want to be able to do is go to, let me log in as, let's see, log out. I have no idea who the other members are. So let me just log in as the main super admin, go to staff members. And I want somebody from the reception. That's Anna, copy, let's log out. Login as receptionist. Okay, so this is what reception sees, students. And if I go to a particular student, like Bob Marley, I see all this. I shouldn't be able to see the classes and tests. So all I need to do is limit this access here. And we already know how to do that, right? So I just get if auth, copy. And then I will go to the edit, uh, the, the profile view, profile view, right here. So I don't want the tabs to be seen. So what I would do here, this is the tab. This is the tab with the information. So if we remove this information here, then we you can't see this tab. So all we have to do is put that if statement right over here. If access, um, not reception here, but lecturer. Only a lecturer can see this. If, and let me put that there. Okay, and then on the else, we will use the access denied view. So copy that, and let's try this here. 
let's see what we see. Now, of course, as a student or reception, I won't be able to see the lecture. I'm not a lecturer. I won't be able to see this. Unexpected token on line 58. So where are we? This one right here. Okay, that's because I missed one bracket. Okay, like so. So it says access denied. But the problem you see here, it's showing me the uh, this and uh, that. So this is not cool. So we can have two versions of the access denied page. So let me copy this views and say new file. Let me get the access denied view. I just want to get the internals. So copy this and put this in the new file and let's save this. So access denied dot instead of dot view, we'll have the dot ink like that. Okay, save. So this one doesn't have all that overhead. And then here, what we would do is we'll say include the same way we included this, but let me copy that actually and put it here. The only difference is this will go to access denied. That way we don't get all those menus and stuff. We just get access denied. Okay, so that is that. But the problem is even when I go to my own profile, I won't be able to see anything here. So even students won't be able to see their own content. So we can solve that by saying, or I own content as well, just like we did on the other side. Okay, and we use auth, of course, like that. Auth, I own content. And what content are we talking about here is this entire profile, which is row. So copy that and let's put the row here. So let's see that on my own profile, I can see. But if I go to a student's profile, Bob and refresh, I can't see that information. And to make things even better, I just shouldn't be able to see the class itself, the link itself. But we leave this here just in case somebody throws in the URL itself, then they'll see this. But then it's better they don't even see the tab itself, which is this one. So all we need to do is put this if statement here for the tab. So this is the classes tab and the tests tab. Both will have the same privilege. So I'll do this and close that if tag on the tests here, PHP and if like so. Move that there. And then here I will put the full colon, close that like so. So at this point, we check if you're either a lecturer or you own the content. That's when you can see tests and classes. So refresh and there we go. I don't even see the tabs anymore, even though I've gone there. If I click here, I can't click here anymore. But if I go to my own profile, I can do that. OK, so we have uh, successfully done all the limiting we can do for now. We'll add more limiting as we go if need be. But for now, we are done with these things. And let's see how we can be adding tests to our classes so that students can start taking tests. I'll see you in the next video.